Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy the Saint, and welcome to the This War of Mine. Um, this game's been out for a little while, uh, but I had a couple of subscribers wanted to see a playthrough of this game. It's pretty difficult. I have never been able to finish the game. Uh, I think the longest I've ever made it was about day 15 or so. But it's a randomly generated game, and it's very unique in that it is, um... It's not, it's, it's, from the title, you know, This War of Mine, you would think it's about war, and it is in a, in a, in a, in a way, it's about war, but it's not a soldier's battling and fighting and killing and all that. It's about the people involved, the, the, the regular civilians trapped in the middle of this, uh, civil war. Um, and it's, uh, you know, you don't really know where the game takes place. It seems like it's some sort of Eastern European country. Um, I, I've never really figured out exactly what city or what country it's supposed to be taking place in, but it seems like it's some Eastern European country. Um, but, um, this is kind of one of the things that doesn't really need an intro that would be better served off. Let's just jump right in it. Um, I have played the game for, like I said, a couple of playthroughs. Never finished the game, never been able to finish it. Um, it's very difficult and someone dies and I get pissed off and I quit playing for a while and I come back. So I'm going to start with a new try. Um, and we are going to play... There's, so there's options of who you can play with, who the, which characters you can use. Um, I'm familiar with... Um, oh, wait, hang on. I'm familiar with... These are the characters I've always played with. Bruno, Pavel, and Marco. Those are just the ones I've always played with. So those are the ones I'm familiar with. I don't know anything about Katya or... What is that name? C-V-E-T-A. Is that Sveta? Or... I, I don't know. Anyways, I don't know any of these other people. So I'm going to play... I'm going to stick to what I know. Um, it seems like a pretty good team, but like I said, I've never played with anybody else, so I don't really know if <laughs> the other characters are way better or worse or what, but they just seem like a good team because they have, they seem to work well together. So, here's the premise of the game. There's a war, a little, uh, I'll get, we'll get a little backstory will pop up here, but there's a war, and you are three survivors that you, I think they knew each other, it'll give a little backstory, but they knew each other before the war, and they're in this shelled out building, building here, and the object of the game is to survive this war, to live until peace breaks out, if peace can break out, or whatever, but anyways, uh, just a second here, we should have the story pop up, and you get a little background here. How long has this siege lasted? It's hard to say when every day is a struggle for survival. The city is crawling with snipers. Shelling is ordinary business almost every night. Phones don't work, there's a shortage of food and meds, and many people are left homeless. Bruno and Marco have always been good friends, so when the war broke out, they decided to stick together. They met Pavel while scavenging for supplies. He used to be Poor Goran's star football player. I guess that's soccer here in the US. Now he's just another homeless victim of war, so they teamed up, hoping for the best. So Pavel's a uh, football star, and Bruno and Marco have been friends uh, for as long as they can remember, I guess. It doesn't really say for how long. So Pavel's a fast runner, um, so he's pretty good at scavenging areas and things like that, but he starts off slightly wounded, and it's random every time, as, at least as I can recall. Bruno is a good cook. Uh, but he starts off slightly sick. We're not getting a very good start to this. Uh, and Marco is a skilled scavenger. I will usually send him on scavenging missions. Um, but the basic premise is you can upgrade this building. You can scavenge. There, there, There's even things to loot in this building you start off in. But the idea is to turn it into a home and be a little more livable and everything. Um, so let's start by just, I guess, just running around and looting some things here that are easy to loot. Let's see. Um... What do we get here? Some basic items. So we got a uh, some herbs, a bunch of components, and some wood. I'll just grab all of that. And you use all, a lot of the components to craft better materials, to craft um, weapons, um, beds, things to help you survive in the game. Let's get you busy, Marco. You're just standing around here. Um, some parts and some electrical parts. I don't need any electrical parts. So I'm just going to leave them there for a while. Um, you don't need those for a while in the game. Well, I don't know. I may need them. Let's clear out some of this rubble in here. I don't have a shovel. Shovels make it quicker to clear out rubble and things like that. Let's see. Is there another... Is there something else we can loot around here? Uh, so this is where we can build and build items right here. This little workbench. Um, there's some more rubble down in the basement. Okay, I need to get send somebody out here and loot that. So I need to get... 
So this is the crafting station at the workshop, the simple workshop. You can craft things like a bed, a chair, um, a stove, uh, a metal workbench, a um, moonshine still, a rainwater collector, things like that. A heater, which comes in uh, very handy later in the game so you don't freeze to death. A simple radio, um, so you can listen to current news and weather forecasts. Um, and it, it, it play, you can play music on it, so it can kind of uh, uplift people's spirits and sort of that thing. Listen to music and brighten their mood. Um, one of the first things you need is a bed, and you need... Uh, what I've always done is make a stove. Um, so I'm going to make the stove, like, right off. And where are we going to... Let's put the stove in the kitchen. And place it there. There we go. So Bruno's going to start building the stove. And we're going to clear out this rubble here with Marco so we can see if we can get up here in this treehouse and scavenge. There's a couple of things to scavenge there while they're working on that. Let's see. Um, I don't have any medicine. I did get some herbs, though, didn't I? But I don't think you can just... I don't think you can just take the herbs. I think you need, yeah, you need to turn them into medicine. Where's the medicine? Because right here's the medicine cabinet. Um, so you can make bandages for people who are wounded and things like that. Um, and this is your food in the little refrigerator here. You can get canned food, different types of foods and things like that. Um, okay, Bruno's done with that. Let's send him up here and scavenge a little bit more. I may want to grab, let's grab that electrical part. Because um, we're going to use it to make that radio if we get two of them. I don't feel so well. I think I have shivers. Oh, great. So he's getting sick. Okay, so we can make a radio. We got enough electrical components to make the radio. We can't get through this. We need to break it open. But you can tear it by hand. It just makes a lot of noise. It's kind of one of the things when you're out scavenging, you have to be careful of how much noise you're making. Can we get into this chest here? It's locked. So we need a lock pick or a crowbar or something to get into that. Let's get him downstairs into the basement and um, dig through that rubble down there. So we got this door open. We can loot this little trash pile here. If we can get anything in that. Um, some materials are components, water, and more lumber. Let's grab all of that and see if we can make a bed. Because um, that is one of the things that helps people heal up when they're sick and that sort of thing. A bed is good for that. So let's get out here and scavenge um, with Marco. See if we can get anything out of here. Okay, yeah, we need to go ahead and craft a bed, make that, place it, uh, I guess anywhere would be fine, really, I don't, I don't think it makes a difference where you place it, I generally try to place them down in the, in the basement or something, but it doesn't really matter, let's place one right here, see if Marco can get anything out of this, another herb, you can use to make herbal medications and rolled up cigarettes, but I'm not sure. I don't remember how off the top of my head. It's been a little while since I played. Let's just grab everything out of that and then loot this treehouse. We got some good components and materials and stuff out of here. So this is your base. And, you know, like I said, the idea is to make it better. Um, a little bit of food there. So let's grab all of that. That's in the treehouse. Oh, it's locked. Oh, I can't get through that door. Okay, so uh, slightly wounded need a band-aid or something to patch him up. Marco, come on back here and loot that right there. Bruno's got a bed. He's slightly sick. So I'm going to get him in the bed and let him start recovering. It says he's recovering. They're slightly sick, but he's recovering. So let's get up here and see if we can make anything else here. Another more herbs. Hmm. I'm going to have to figure out how to make a uh, herbal remedy. Grab all of that. And anything else. So there's a third story we can loot. I guess I'll send uh, Marco up there to start working on that. Let's see. We can make a moonshine still, but before we make the still, we need a rainwater collector. That's pretty important. And you need to make filters to run that. Let's go ahead and make our radio since we have the uh, electrical components. Build a radio. Keep their spirits high. That sort of thing. Um... Let's place it right here next to the bed, I guess. Yeah, that'll do. Um, Marco, get upstairs and see what you can find up here. There's a ladder. There's more uh, rubble to dig through. Actually, there's rubble on either side of that, isn't there? Mm, it's locked. 
Alright, dig through that. And we need to make a uh, crafting bench so we can make crowbar and a knife and things like that. So that's going to be one of the next things we need to focus on after this radio. Oops, crap. Wrong guy. I had Marco selected. Pavel. Um, the rebel instruct the rebel leader instructed us to warn the listeners not to cross the front line. Failure to comply could result in death. So there's little radio stations you can pick up. There's not many you can pick up. The upcoming days should be still be should still be nice and warm. Perfect for a stroll in the park. Yeah, because you're gonna go for a stroll in the park during the war. There's another radio station. There you go. Some classical music playing. Um, there we go. Despite desperate counterattacks by the rebels trying to lift the siege of Porygon, Polgarin, I can't, I'm going to mispronounce that all game, Polgarin, the city remains shut off. Government forces do not allow any aid to reach the city. Claiming it would end up in rebel hands. Oh, uh, so yeah, supplies, relief supplies and things like that aren't coming through. Music is playing. Uh, let's play the classical music. Where was it at? There we go. Play a little classical music. Maybe that'll lift their spirits. Um, we need to make a crafting station so we can make like a crowbar and a knife and that sort of thing. So what do we need? Where is that at? That's this one right here, the metal workshop. So we need to get three more components. We've got enough timber or lumber or wood or whatever you call it. So we need to get some components. So um, we're going to have to scavenge the house for that. It's almost seven o'clock. So it's seven o'clock. Is it seven or eight? The Basically the day ends and night begins. And at nighttime you can go out and scavenge other locations. So we're going to get to that here in just a second since not much else is going on. Hmm. Yeah, not much else is going on. Okay. Yeah, and it's at 8 o'clock. Alright, the night. So, here's what you can do. You can have... You've got three people is what you start out with here. Or at least what I've started out with. And you can send someone out to scavenge. You can only send one person. Uh, Marco happens to be your best because this these, uh, these numbers right here is how much items they can hold. How many inventory slots they have to loot. Uh, Bruno can only hold 10 items. Pavel can hold 12. And Marco can hold 15. So he's obviously the best at going out because he can bring back the most stuff. Um, and he is a skilled scavenger. So we're going to send him to scavenge. Um, we're going to let Bruno, since he's still sick, sleep in the bed, and we're going to have Pavel guard. Um, and you do have to guard because you can have raiders at night. Um, it doesn't happen every night. It's kind of random. Um, but we're going to have Pavel guard, and hopefully we don't, no, you know, nothing happens. So now you can select which one of these places you want to go loot. Um, so there's the looted gas station. And this kind of gives you an idea of how many of what all you can find there. It gives you a description of the uh, location. Uh, this is one of the very first places people looted while fleeing from the city. There have been a few. Wait a minute. Sorry. There had been a few hour long ceasefire intended to clean the whole area from civilians, but it was broken. Many people died, though neither side claimed responsibility to this day. Despite heavy shelling of the whole district, the station is in a surprisingly decent shape. It may have been looted, but it might still be worth it to check it out. So there's food, materials, medications, weapons, parts. So that might be a good place to loot. Um, old because we do need some medicine, um, and we do need some food because we don't have any food. Um, old town. Um, the old town used to be crucible of cultures with its district mix of architectural styles and many great. I can't read that shit. <laughs> Grozny and Yesini restaurants and pubs. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. Military positions in the overlooking mountains make it a dangerous place now, but if we take the risk, we might find supplies there. Okay, so it's a little bit risky there is what it's saying. There's some food and weapons and things like that. The ruined villa... Um, they say people still live there against all odds. They must have some supplies stocked, like canned food and possibly bandages or medicine, but they don't want to trade. If we're desperate, we could try to steal from them. 
Um, so that is pretty dangerous to have to steal from people there. Um, Quiet House, it's a housing estate that remains almost untouched. It's a calm area of little houses with porches and gardens. Most of those houses are still inhabited. People are trying to head to people are trying to lead normal lives there. We've got nothing to look for there unless we're willing to steal. So there's lots of food, medicine, and parts, but we gotta steal it there too. The gas station seems like our best bet, so let's um prepare, let's scavenge out there, and you can choose which items to take with you. I don't have anything worth taking, like a crowbar or a gun or a knife or anything, so we're just gonna go empty-handed. This is his backpack, it's empty, and we're gonna go scavenge this. Looks like people have drained it dry since it didn't blow up after the shelling. <laughs> There's no fuel to explode here. So basically you just run up and loot things and try and get as much stuff as you can. Um, my experience with playing the game, one of the things I like to do is run and loot the furthest away from the exit first and then head back. So as it turns out, we've got a, um, a rubble pile here to get actually into the gas station. Um, and it doesn't, I'm not, doesn't look like there's anybody in here. Um, this would be a lot faster if we had a shovel, obviously, but I'm gonna skip ahead so you guys don't have to sit here and watch him digging away the rubble for the next couple of minutes. Okay, Marco's almost done digging through the rubble there. There we go. Alright, now we can get in and scavenge. That took an awful long time. So you have a time limit, basically, as to how long you can take. Alright, so we got... We need to focus on the things we really need. Fertilizer I don't need. A cigarette can be good. Weapon parts we'll take. We'll take everything except the fertilizer because I don't really need it. Right now it's good for uh, making a garden, but uh, that'll be a little ways off. Um, so let's see what else we can find here. We really need food. Fertilizer again. Herbs and what is that? Sugar. I don't need sugar right now either. You need sugar to make moonshine and I need to make a still first to do that. Let's see what we got here. There's a note under the table, not actually hidden, but it could be easily missed. From the style of handwriting, you can tell it was written by a woman, in a hurry. Milos, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I could not wait any longer. I hid some jewelry inside the books. Look for them in the basement inside carton boxes behind the barred door. Use it. Stay alive, please. God bless you. I'm sorry. So there's some jewelry inside books down in the basement. So let's see if we can get into the basement here. Um, looks like this door right here is blocked. And there's some movement in there. Ah, bandage. We need that. And we need the meds. Uh, so we can take both of those. We definitely need that. So there's some movement in there. We can hear something moving. But you can't... Okay, and you can peek through the doorway. It looks like it's mice. You can set traps and catch mice. I have never made it long enough to build those. So I don't know how to do it. But I know you can make traps to catch uh, little mice and stuff like that. Rodents. Um, so that'll be good for food later in the game. Let's see, is there anybody in here? So I gotta be careful, you know, run into somebody and they try and rob you or kill you. A lot of lumber in there. I'm gonna leave that for a minute and just look out this back door, make sure nobody's out there. Okay, that's good. Um, let's get upstairs and search up here. What is this, another note or something? <clears throat> this poor man had been caught by the shelling. What was he doing here? Probably looting like we're doing. <laughs> okay, we got a bunch of stuff in this one. Gunpowder I don't need, shell casings I don't need. That You can use that to make weapons, but I don't need any of that stuff right now. I do need components, so I'm going to take a couple of stacks of those. Let's take three stacks, and let's take these parts. Um, and we're going to leave that. We need to find some food, hopefully. And you got to keep an eye on the timer, because at 5 o'clock you pretty much need to be out of the building. Um, otherwise you can get caught outside and you can't really get back, because you have to be careful of snipers during the daylight and that sort of thing, and you can't get back. It's all... it's it's random, there's a chance, but you never... you, know, you don't want to take that chance, because then your person will be gone for a day, and uh, they could get injured, or I guess they could get killed. Um, let's take those electrical components, let's take another stack of the uh, components and the lumber. Let's take all that. Uh, you know what, let's grab all of this. And now I'll show you one of the things I like. Let me get upstairs, there's a roof access on this one building. Is there anything up here to loot? There is one item to loot. All right, let's grab everything out of it. And then we're gonna start heading back because it's getting almost two o'clock. 
Okay, yep, grab all of that. And now let's start heading back. And what I like to do is grab everything as far away from the entrance as I can and start moving it to the uh, to the exit um, in a, a little box. You can, so you can like go to this exit. This is There's an exit actually right here. And you can search this thing and you can actually throw items in here to come back and loot again later because you can only hold so many things at once. Um, like for instance, I don't really need that cigarette. Um, but I could use some more lumber, and I don't need shell casings at all. Um, I don't really need weapon parts, because... Well, no, I'll hang on to that, because I might be able to make a knife or a crowbar, but I don't need the gunpowder. Um, so that'll allow me to free up two more inventory slots to carry some more lumber, or some more components, or whatever. Um, and, but yeah, uh, so I try to keep stuff like that near an exit, so that I, when I come back next time, I can just loot it really quick and get back out, and I'll have to spend a lot of time. There is still the basement we didn't loot. Hang on, how do I get down there? Oh, there's a ladder, I didn't even see it, okay. And there's a grate right here, we can't get through that. We need something to get through it, I forget what it is. Um, let's take one more stack of those components. There we go. I think you need a tool or something to cut through that. A saw blade, yeah, and that's probably where those items we wanted to loot are at, those books with that jewelry or whatever. Behind that tool grate. Alright, water. We definitely need water. So let's take that full stack of water. Um, and here's food. Okay, great. So let's go upstairs, throw some of this wood or components up there, and come back and grab all the food we can get. Um, yeah, so let us let me do that real quick. Let me just run upstairs. And, and then we're going to get have to get out of here. I'm going to just run over here to this car, throw some stuff into the storage here. And we'll come back tomorrow night or whatever and, and collect the rest of this stuff. Coffee beans, homegrown tobacco, more cigarettes, fertilizer, more weapon parts. I'll take the weapon parts since they're already occupying an inventory slot. And we're going to put the book in here. And we're going to put the electrical components in here. And we're going to go back and grab all that food now. Yeah, four food, two more vegetables, I got one inventory slot, um, I got meds, I got a bandage, got all the food I found. Is there anything else? I don't remember seeing anything else that I just really needed, so, um, let's grab some more lumber, because I've only got two of those. So yeah, let's fill up the last slot with lumber, and we're going to run to an exit now, so... Just run him out of here. You can man, you can hit or you can manually take him out of here. Um, I'm just going to run to an exit now. And that's going to be it. We've looted this building. It's 350. Um, so like I said, if, after like 6 a.m., you had better already be gone. I think it's 6, maybe 530. I, I don't want to find out what, what time it is. 